Hey everyone, welcome to Practical Tech Skills. I'm your host, Chris, and I'm gonna show you how to secure your Cloud Panel website with Cloudflare. So let's get started. Here I'm in my Cloud Panel installation, and if you don't have Cloud Panel installed already, I'll put a link down in the description to a previous video I did on how to install it on a Linux server. As you can see, I don't have any websites installed here yet, so I'll go ahead and click the Add Site button. And for this demonstration, I'll create a PHP site. And then I'll add my domain, and we're using mysoftwaredemo.com. And I'll click Create. Now that the website has been created, I can go over here and click on Manage. And from here, I need this IP address, so I'll click on it to copy and head over to Cloudflare to set up DNS. So here is my Cloudflare website page for mysoftwaredemo.com. If you don't have a Cloudflare account, you can get one for free at cloudflare.com. Just sign up and follow the steps to get your domain set up there. Now I'll go over to the left menu here and click on DNS. And we're going to add a record. And it's going to be an A record. And I'll type in the at symbol and copy in that IP address. And this proxy status, we want that to stay at proxied, so we'll leave that alone and click on Save. Now, if you don't just want the root domain and you would like to have the www also, you can add that record as well. And that type will be a CNAME record. And we'll type in www. And the target's going to be the domain name, so mysoftwaredemo.com and we'll leave that proxy status as proxied also. Save that. And now DNS is set up for the website. So now we can go and test the website. And you can see that the site is not secure yet, which is totally expected. So we will go back into Cloudflare Go back to the left menu and click on the SSL TLS menu and then click on origin server. And from here, we're going to click on create certificate. So here we're going to use the private key type of RSA. And you can see that the domain name is already pre-populated here. And then we can set our expiration on the certificate. The default's 15 years, and that's what I'm going to choose. And then click on Create. Now our certificate's created, and there's a couple of different pieces of information here. We have the origin certificate or the public certificate, and then we have the private key. So here we're just going to click on the private key box and copy that and then head back over to Cloud Panel. And in Cloud Panel, we'll click on SSL TLS tab here and then click on the Actions button and click Import Certificate. And we'll copy that private key to this private key box here. And then we'll grab the origin certificate, copy that, and paste that into the certificate box here, and then click on import and install. Now here you'll see that the certificate was imported and that it is installed. So now we'll head back over to Cloudflare, and under the SSL menu we'll click on overview, and click on this Configure button. And as you can see here, the current encryption mode is set to Flexible. And what that means is that the visitor to your website is encrypted to Cloudflare, 
but Cloudflare is not always encrypting to your server. So to change that, we can select this full mode and click on save. And we can see that here, now the Cloudflare to the origin server is always encrypted. So now if we go back and test the site, you'll see that we get the index page here and the site is indeed secured. Now we can do one extra step inside of Cloud Panel, and that's if we click on the security tab here, we can scroll down to the bottom and click on this allow traffic from Cloudflare only, and it does exactly what it says it does. It will only allow traffic from the IP addresses of Cloudflare to your server. And that's it. You have a fully Cloudflare secured website inside of Cloud Panel. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you don't mind, like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.